the, you, you pull the oil pump out, it's really heavy. Um, then you come to realize, here's a crank. I never expected things to get this 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 out of hand so quickly. This, you know, to use a cliche to like escalate so quickly. Um, so track day happened. Um, as you can see, if you saw the video, I put a link below. You know, I was having a good time. You know, bang bang, going through the gears. But the whole time, I felt like I wasn't. You know, I wasn't pushing very hard. Um, so I was like, hey, you know what? Next time I go, you know, I'll, I'll really like open up the taps and stuff like that. Um, so I started doing research on what else I can do um, to prep the car. And one of the comments I came across in my research is um, some guy was like, hey, you know, I'm going to go tracking or whatever. And, you know, one guy responded with like, well, have you done anything about baffling? or the oil pump um, because you don't want to wait to find out what happens when there's oil starvation in the crank or whatever. And I'm like, you know, I took a second to pause. I'm like, well, I didn't do anything about it myself. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, you know, get the type pest bump. Um, that'll allow me to rev the car a little bit higher, which I really wanted to coming out of some corners. Um, Especially in the no-name straight, like I, I was letting off a little bit early, um, just so I wouldn't hit the the seven thousand uh, red line. I I wasn't trying to rev past that on stock internals and um, whatever. So that led me to pulling the engine out um, to do the oil pump, and once I got there, you know you you get to see you, you pull the oil pump out. It's really heavy. Um, that you come to realize, here's a crank. You know, what's stopping me from putting in some rods and pistons? And, you know, we're at the point now where that went from, like, let's just replace the oil pump to a full-on engine build. Um, and I'm shocked at myself. This is not something I wanted to do with this car. Um... But being out of the Honda scene for so long, like I didn't know what, you know, what weaknesses came about. I know that this motor came out at a point where like I was really walking away from Honda. And the big news was the exhaust collector, how it didn't have headers. Anyway, that's that's a talk for another day. But I'll show you now what things look like in my garage. It's a complete mess. So don't mind the mess. Um, I kept all the stuff or as, as organized as possible. Um, but let's, let's just shoot over to that video really quick. All right, so as you can see, there's a whole lot of, of, of explaining to do here. Um, here's the engine, bare bottom block, um, heads over there. That's gonna get full Ferrea kitting, valve springs, retainers, seats, um, guides. Um, that's my lucky piston. I've had that since my RSX days, so I like to keep that around. Um, so I'm, I'm gonna try to flip this motor around here. Um, I think the easiest way is this way. So yeah, so as you can see, uh, I'm trying to give you an idea where, I, how, how I ended up here. So, Basically, once you remove the oil pump, which sits right here, um, this is what you're left with. So you can see the uh, rod bolts right here. Uh, this is your crank sensor, crank position sensor, um, gear. The sensor is back here, reads, reads where the crank is. Um, this is basically where, where we are <laughs> with this build. Um, so. If you're like me, it's easy to see why 
I didn't stop here with the, with the oil pump. And just to give you an idea what the oil pump looks like on here, let me just secure this thing in. All right, that's secure. Ah, yeah, yeah. This thing is super, super heavy. And I mean, super heavy. Um, this is on here like, like so. And um, it's got its own tensioner right here. There we go. It's on here like like this, but it's 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 super heavy. Um, I tried turning these these balancers, and you can just tell that um, this this has almost as much resistance as like a mini little supercharger, like the I don't know the M62 or whatever. But this actually takes some work to move around. Um, if I had to guess, it's around 25 pounds or so, maybe. Little less but yeah th these are the balance shafts on the other side it's got these gears i i don't like how heavy this is i don't like how much heat it may produce um and apparently i'm not the only one i've seen a few threads out there where upgrading the oil pump for a turbo setup a high horsepower turbo setup um so that's that's where i'm at today um I've got the manly rods already in. I'm waiting for a bunch of valve uh, equipment. And beyond that, um, that pretty much covers it for, um, for this build so far. Um, I honestly thought I was sort of gonna be running out of material pretty soon. You know, just doing a couple of reviews here and there, maybe do some very small upgrades on the car. But apparently I'm gonna have a ton of crap to talk about a ton of stuff to like cover and um this is going to be fun um this is my first time doing the build sort of myself jose and maybe he won't come i don't know uh but his son is coming over to help me you know assemble the engine he's got a bunch of cool tools to check the clearances and and all kinds of fun stuff um but the head's going out to a shop we might actually port the the exhaust port um, just to get more flow out of it. Um, I know there's a few companies out there doing that kind of stuff and they're still in testing. So I'm just going to go ahead and, and see what I can do with the, the tools and the knowledge that I have available to myself. So if you liked it, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, um, come back for more. Um, this is really exciting stuff. I almost sound like, to me, I sound nervous because This is, this is a lot to do end of the year. Um, and, but I look forward to it. I'm looking forward to, you know, sharing with you guys, like what the hell do I have going on over here? So, like I said, if, if you have any comments, things that you think I might need to do, um, things, you know, you like, things you don't like, just, just hit me in the comments, like it, subscribe. And that's it. I'm going to bring you more info as, as I get more of this. There'll be a few more videos coming out as far as uh, a review of the brakes, a review of the after cooler upgrade, all that fun stuff. So keep coming back. Got a ton of stuff coming through.